Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just a little over three months away from its official release by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio, as well as creator George Lucas. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film is going to introduce many different revelations that will lead to Saga Watt implications within the Skywalker Saga that is truly going to change how we view the past eight Star Wars films that come before this one. And that's the thing about J.J. Abrams is that he's really trying to make this movie a very innovative Star Wars film that's not only going to change how we view the past Star Wars films, hopefully in a positive way, but to also bring Star Wars in a different direction for the future and what he's going to apply in this movie by inserting different mediums of the franchise that fans have never seen before. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the set leaks, this is where things begin to get very intense for the actual movie itself. Now, specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that it's described that one of the scenes that were shot during the month of December of 2018, just late last year, involved the recreation of Luke Skywalker's Jedi Training Temple on the unknown world that is said to be based in the Outer Rim. It's explained that the set was built to film a flashback scene between Luke Skywalker and Kylo Ren by Mark Hamill and Adam Driver. It's described that on set tons of pyrotechnics were used for the scene that was actually said to add more story to the destruction of Luke's temple. However, it's said that on set one of the costume designs that were used was said to be a black Jedi robe that was designed for a female, where the costume design was dubbed as Mara Jade's Jedi Cloak underscore five 505 dash temple slash one the design of the cloak is said to be black with white stripes and has a popped collar in the back where it falls down to the lower leg area it's unclear if this version of Mara Jade is the true Mara Jade, such as Luke's wife from the EU, or a love interest, or if this version of Mara Jade is one of Luke Skywalker's Jedi students that were either killed or abducted or abducted by Kylo Ren in the Knights of Ren. It's also described that one of the other scenes that were filmed involved Mara's lightsaber hilt inside of Luke's temple. Though the prop was not used for fighting, it was used as a prop piece used in the background of a scene for Luke Skywalker. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, without a doubt, by far, one of the fan favorite characters in the Expanded Universe is, of course, Mara Jade. Now, with everything that we have been hearing about Mara in The Rise of Skywalker, not in the literal sense from what it seems, but little references here and there, such as her costume, her lightsaber, and her kyber crystal that could very well point to something larger, either toward the end of this movie or for the future of the Star Wars franchise, such as the rumored Mara Jade TV series on Disney and Disney Plus that's been going around for a couple of days now. I don't know if you guys heard about that. Very intriguing stuff. But on top of all of this, What's really interesting about Episode 9 is that they recreated Luke Skywalker's Jedi Training Temple. Now, this could absolutely match directly up with what we saw by Vanity Fair a couple of months ago back in May of this year, where they unveiled all the HD images of the Rise of Skywalker, one of which, by the way, uh, showed Luke Skywalker next to R2-D2 with a lot of fire behind him. And what was really weird, though, is that Luke appeared to be older in the shot and had long hair. So I'm not quite sure how that really matches up with that, but there was fire in the background and could very well indicate that that was a shot from Luke Skywalker's Jedi Training Temple and the alternate scene that's going to be used for Episode 9 by JJ. Again, like I say, there's a lot of things that JJ never got to really experiment with that Ryan Johnson was able to, such as showing us a flashback of Luke Skywalker's terrible moment where his Jedi Training Temple is destroyed, his Jedi students are killed and abducted by Kylo Ren. So, with that being said, I will say that we do know that Carrie Russell is portraying the character of Zori Bliss, who initially was actually dubbed as Mara. That was the original code name of the character. I'm not quite sure if that had anything to do with Mara Jade or anything along those lines. Who knows? But with that being said, the biggest question of all is why are there little references here and there that point to something huge in Episode 9 or the future of the Star Wars franchise? It really seems like that they are trying to bring back a lot of Star Wars Legends characters, which very well might line up with what we heard about a year ago, you guys may recall that there was actually a plan in place by Disney and Lucasfilm to really bring in a lot of Star Wars Legends characters back into the current canon material. And a lot of that's going to be done with the new Star Wars trilogy and Disney+. Plus. 
So you can really see how the dots are starting to connect here and how everything is starting to shape up. Now, honestly, when we think about episode nine, we think about how this is the culmination of the Skywalker saga. It really is the end of the end of the Skywalker saga movies that started back in 1977, which is a big deal. They have to get this movie right in order for it to truly resonate with fans around the world and to really make fans happy and talking about this movie for years on end. And with that being said, when we look at episode 9, this movie really is going to be very complex as well. So anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.